Hello, hello everybody and welcome to yet another amazing session on your favorite YouTube channel Bhanzu and here we are with session number two of integers where I am going to talk about the multiplication of integers and the rules of it and also about the properties of multiplication of integers. So let us get started without wasting any further time. This is your educator Hari Priya. Do not forget to like this video and mark your attendance and also subscribe to the channel channel and hit the bell icon because whenever we post any of our videos you will be notified first also share this video with at least one friend of yours whoever is your bestie bff close friends do share with them and ask them to subscribe to the channel as well so today's topic is integers integers part one agar aapne nahi dekha hai to the link is in the description box go watch that now today in part two we would be discussing about the multiplication of integers and the properties of multiplication of integers like closure commutative associative and distributive all right so let us get started with the first one which is multiplication of integers with the same sign matlab both are positive ya both are negative so here i have taken an example of two positive numbers this is something that we have been doing right so whenever you multiply two positive numbers the answer is always positive plus 7 plus 8 plus 56 so the first rule comes like this whenever you multiply two positive integers the answer is always positive the second one is two negative integers even when you multiply two negative integers the answer is again a positive one minus 7 multiplied with minus 8 is plus 56 so there goes your rule number two so the moral of the story here is whenever you multiply integers of the same sign the two integers of the same sign then the answer is always a positive integer now the problem arises when one is positive one is negative basically when you multiply two integers with the opposite sign so here seven multiplied with minus eight one is positive one is negative so the answer is a negative integer so that there goes rule number three or four doesn't matter which number is negative but what if one of the number is a negative integer then the entire answer would be a negative integer so as you can see the moral of the story whenever you multiply integers of the same sign both positive yeah both negative the answer is always a positive number when one of them is negative and the other is positive then the answer is a negative integer one more thing i want you guys to notice here is if i multiply let's say odd number of negative integers i have taken up i have taken minus 1 as an example but this is applicable for any odd in, any negative integers if you are multiplying odd number of negative integers so here we are multiplying 1 2 and 3 we are multiplying a negative integer odd number of times the answer is always a negative integer now if I multiply a negative integer even number of times 1, 2, 3 and 4. I am multiplying it even number of times. So the answer will always be a positive integer. Let's solve few questions here. Now I want, I am going to solve these two here and I want you, you guys to solve 3 and 4. So here minus 9 multiplied with plus 6. So the answer is minus 54 minus 23 plus 20 so one is positive one is negative so the answer is going to be a negative integer now both of them are positive here so what am i supposed to do the answer will be positive all right so here i want you guys to take this down as a homework and let me know in the comment section if the answer is a negative one or a positive one and then comes multiplicative identity which is always number one why because whenever you multiply a number be it a positive number or a negative number whenever you multiply it with one the identity of the number remains the same be it a positive number or a negative number the identity will not change all right so that's why one is called as the multiplicative identity Remember, we also taught, uh, we also studied about additive identity, which is always zero. Let's solve few questions here. 
with what will you multiply minus y, minus 5 so that you will get plus 5. See, it can't be 1. If you are multiplying 1 and minus 5, the answer is going to be minus 5. Hey na? So, what is that we will be taking? We will be multiplying it with minus 1. So, whenever we multiply a number with a negative 1, then it will turn positive here because it is minus 5. So, minus 5 into minus 1 will give you plus 5. Now, 7 multiplied with minus 7, 1 positive, 1 negative. So, the answer always has to be a negative integer. But that is getting multiplied with 0. So, overall the answer would be 0. It is neither positive nor negative. 1 multiplied with 6 multiplied with minus 9. So, 1 multiplied with 6 will give you 6 because both of them are positive. The answer is also a positive one. But here you are multiplying the positive number with a negative number. So, the answer is minus 54. Alright. Now, if you want to dive deep into where did these integers come from, how do we multiply very fast, if you want to learn the Bhansu's way, do book a free demo with us. The link is in the description box. My team will reach out to you and set a date whenever you're free and it will be of a one hour free demo. You would be going through the entire curriculum of Bhansu. You will be knowing how different our curriculum is compared to your school curriculum. All right. Now, ja let's jump into the second most important topic of this video properties of multiplication of integers. Under this, we'll be talking about closure, commutative, associative and distributive property. Starting with the first one, closure property. What does closure property say? Under a closed region, in this region there are only integers guys, okay? So when you take integer, any two integers and multiply, do you always get an integer? The answer is yes. You always get an integer. You take a positive and a negative number or a two negative numbers, two positive numbers. It does not matter. The answer is always a positive integer or a negative integer. Basically integers. So you can say that integers are closed under multiplication. What is commutative property? It says the order in which you multiply numbers does not matter. I am taking my A to be 5 and B to be minus 4. So if I multiply 5 and minus 4, the answer is minus 20. Minus 4 multiplied with 5, the answer is still minus 20. So the order in which you multiply two or more integers does not matter. So multiplication is commutative. Since, it's for, since it follows commutative property, I can say it follows associative property also because associative property is just an extension of commutative here. In associative, we will be taking more than two numbers. So the order in which you uh, multiply these numbers should not matter. So here I have taken A to be minus 3, B to be 4 and C to be minus 2. In the first case, I multiplied my A and B first and then multiplied C. I got plus 24. In the second case, I have multiplied B and C first and then multiplied my A and I got plus 24. The answer remains the same. So, associative property is an extension of commutative property where it involves more than two integers. And the fourth one is distributive property. Now, there is distributivity of multiplication over addition and over subtraction also. So, here under uh, over addition would be A multiplied with B plus C. So, multiplication over addition is A multiplied with B plus A multiplied with C. Alright. So, here left hand side is always equal to right hand side. So, we have checked that. Left hand side we have taken A multiplied with B plus C. So, first we have added these two, we got as at 8 and then we multiplied it with minus 6, we got it as minus 48. Now, in the right hand side, I have taken A multiplied with B plus A multiplied with C. So, here I have taken minus 6 multiplied with 3 plus minus 6 multiplied with 5 and still got the same answer. So, my left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Now, this is distributivity of multiplication over addition. Now, the same thing applies for subtraction also. It's just that instead of addition, we are going to use a subtraction symbol. So, it is A multiplied with B minus A multiplied with C. 
all right here also when you check the left hand side and the right hand side the answers are the same so distributive property can be of two types one distributivity of multiplication over addition second distributivity of multiplication over subtraction you just have to be very careful with the signs here now here what did they do 6 minus 6 multiplied with 3 they have taken a plus or what you can do is you can take a minus here and you just take plus 5 the answer would still be the same all right now so that is what is our distributive property distributivity of multiplication over addition and also over subtraction now in the next class we will be talking about the division of integers and its properties all right so see you in the next class do not forget to share this video with at least one of your friends and do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button and let me know in the comment section if you have any doubts i'll be happy to help you so i'm going to see you again in the next one until then bye bye and take care